In all nature, there is nothing so rejuvenating and so refreshing as rain. It seems to arouse the very essence of all things inanimate and to awaken souls of things that have been. There is life-giving vigor in it. So unlike is it to ground and rocks and grass and trees and animals and buildings, even to brooks and lakes, it seems like a drift from another world or some other existence when the drops shuttled down between the leaves strike on shingle and pane, burst on the rocks, and send up bubbling columns on the pools. I do not yet understand why there's such exuberance in mere wetness. Thoughts from Liberty Hyde Bailey's nimble pen from the essay aptly titled Rain. It was more than words, but deeds that defined Bailey's outlook. Case in point, here's a story from May of 1948, the year Bailey turned 90 and failed to be present for his birthday. It comes from an article in the Cornell Alumni News. One rainy day, following a long dry spell, he was seen walking across the campus hat off and using his folded umbrella as a cane. Someone meeting him on the sidewalk ventured to remind him that it was raining. Dean Bailey replied with candor and without apparent surprise, I know it. I like it. It's a beautiful day. We need rain. I'm John Stempion, Director Emeritus of the Liberty Hyde Bailey Museum. As the title suggests, I'm in search of Liberty Hyde Bailey, but the man has passed on over a half century ago. However, I believe his actions, like ripples on a pond, continue as concentric circles of inspiration and direction, at least for me. I have already alluded to the story of the university dinner in recognition of Professor Liberty Hyde Bailey and his 90th birthday, and that he was also missing from his home in Ithaca, New York. At the Liberty Hyde Bailey Museum, Current director Mike Fedorowicz allowed me to dip into its archives to flesh out this 90th birthday story. So here's a folder, folder that says Bailey's 90th birthday, 1948. Dr. Bailey gets his gets postponed 90th birthday honor. <laughs> Singing. Dr. Bailey's 90th birthday occurred on March 15th, and the dinner had been planned for then, but on that day, Dr. Bailey was out in the West Indy jungles collecting specimens of palm trees. This is from the New York Herald Tribune, April 30th, 1948. So, at 90 years old, the Ray Hyde Bailey was exploring the West Indian jungles in South America searching for new species of palm trees. Palms were to be Bailey's last great work, his opus magnum, he called it. If he would ever finish a decades-long project, Bailey noted that finishing it wasn't the most important part. He said, the more important part is the quest, is the meeting of the people and the experiences you have on the way. In the ocean salt, won't you carry in your head? And maybe we'll get lucky And we'll both grow old I don't know, I don't know I hope so Well that is that and this is this You tell me what you saw I'll tell you what you missed When the ocean left the sky you miss twin time and lash your cans and say goodbye When the earth folded on itself and said goodbye I hope heaven and hell are really there